computer science videos here today to show you guys in this tutorial how to connect and install a USB Wi-Fi receiver adapter dongle to your MacBook Pro without further ado let us start the video so in this tutorial you need to have access to the MacBook Pro and the dongle so we can now bring that all into the frame this is the MacBook Pro this is the Windows machine which we will require when it comes to transferring data from a CD from Windows computer to Mac as we can see on screen the Mac no longer has a CD drive they haven't had that since 2012 we need the USB the dongle which we did unbox in the previous tutorials and videos and the instruction manual for those who will require this so we can now jump straight to the Windows machine take out the CD insert into the CD drive We also require the USB, if I bring that into the frame now, insert into the computer. USB has now been connected so we can go all the way to the folder that has the information we require. If we go to DVD, click on Mac, Command C to copy. Go to the Kingston USB, Control V to copy, Control C, Control V, just to copy what's on the disk to the USB, and then we take the USB, insert into the Mac, extract the file. So that is complete. We can right click, eject. The Kingston USB, which is now safe to remove. Bring back the USB. Connect to the Mac. Wait for that to load. Open up Kingston on screen. Increase the size of the window. And now we see the Mac folder, Command C to copy, Command V to paste on your desktop, eject the Kingston USB, we are done with that. We can also go back to the Windows machine and eject the CD as we are now done with that. That's for another day. Close the Windows machine. Get back to the instruction manual. Remove the USB. So we are working with Mac. Go to the Mac folder. We can insert the USB into the USB port. So that is done. Click on install. Continue. Read through everything. Yes, English. Agree. Install for all users of this computer. Correct. Continue the installation. Type in your password. 
configure, run the script. Open the preferences if you have to, allow. Registering updated components. Will take some time, like a minute or two. So the installation was successful. We will now restart the computer. And now we have booted into the OS. The task now is to go to the navigation toolbar on top. And now we can connect to the preferred Wi-Fi for faster internet. I'll do that now. Great, we are now connected. So in this video, I demonstrated to you how to connect to a Wi-Fi USB dongle adapter to receive better internet. The first thing we did was use the CD to extract the contents from a Windows machine, inserted a USB flash drive, took the contents, brought them onto a Mac and then extracted the folder, installed the software whilst we had the dongle inserted into the computer and then installed, restarted, came back and now we have faster internet so we can go to Firefox. Let's just see how quick this loads. Excellent. 
that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for now.